Hello my loves, how are we all? I'm just going to move this contraption out of the way a second. Over there. How are you all doing? Oh my god, it's been so long since I last vlogged. I know I start every single vlog like that, but it really has been a long time. I actually planned to vlog when I was in London um, last week, but I just literally... Oh, I was like, who's that? It's Rafi. Um, I just literally didn't even think to pull my camera out once, which just shows how out of practice I am with vlogging. I'm also just looking at my makeup today and like feeling like something's wrong. And I think it's potentially because I haven't put any mascara on. I don't know. I feel like I look a bit strange. Um, <laughs> but anyway, today is Friday. I am actually solo parenting this weekend, um, which is all fun and games. Um, Sam's away, so yeah, I think I'll have to Goldie on my own, which is fine, like, I don't mind doing it, like, Goldie is such, like, a great baby, like, she's, a, in my opinion, quite an easy baby, um, but, yeah, I think it's more, like, these kind of times that I really, really miss, like, living near family and friends and stuff like that, because I'm like, oh, I could, you know, really break up the day and go see my mum, or, you know, that kind of thing, um, I think, like, it just... It, can sometimes be a bit daunting when I'm like, oh my God, like how am I gonna <laughs> like fill all this time kind of by myself? Um, I say that not by myself because I am actually meeting up with a friend today. Um, she's actually a relatively new friend, um, but she's a mum friend. She has a baby who is a couple months older than Goldie. And honestly, like I feel like she has, everyone says when you have a baby, like it takes a village to raise your baby. And she is literally my village. <laughs> and, um, we're in a similar situation with um, our partner's work and stuff and she hasn't got any family around her and stuff. So I kind of feel like we're just each other's village at this point and it's just been so nice to have that and it's honestly like made the world of difference. So I do feel like I got really hung up at the beginning of like being a mum about not having my village. And then I think someone actually said to me like, you might not have your village so you need to make your village and that really, really stuck with me. And I feel like that's what I'm trying to do at the minute is like make my village of support because lord knows you need it when you're a mum <laughs> like it's very 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 hard to do it alone so even if you can just find some like friends or even one friend um then it literally is just like a game changer so yeah we are heading to a little baby class at the library it's a free class at the library um today and then we're gonna go for a walk um because i'm really trying to get in like all my steps and stuff at the minute um so yeah we're gonna go for a big long walk whilst the girls nap it's kind of good as well because our girls are on quite similar schedules so it's quite nice it means that we can kind of do the same thing um so yeah we're gonna go for a big long walk and then maybe a bit ambitious but try and get in a little bit of lunch or something um and yeah i just thought i'd vlog because i was like oh i'm gonna be on my own like it's a bit lonely so i may as well like chat to you guys and stuff um so yeah that's that's my plan it is currently 11 minutes past 10 i need to be at this class for 11 i've got a pack goldie's bag i haven't had any breakfast with myself yet um i need to get the pram in the car everything like that i am showered and ready also my period which i just feel like parenting when you're on your period is actually just really hard <laughs> like you know when you're on your period and you literally just want to lie in bed and like just feel sorry for yourself and like just with a hot water bottle and all of that and you just can't do it um so yeah i do i don't know i just i'm quite a like proactive person with quite a lot of energy generally but when it comes to like the week of my period i just feel so drained and zapped so yeah um it's not come at the best time but anyway it's fine we're not going to dwell or complain about it um yeah so goldie's asleep at the minute so now i'm like right what should i do first shall i make breakfast but then if she wakes up and then i haven't put the pram in the bag in the car then that's going to be really annoying so should i go put the pram in the bag in the car but then if she wakes up then i'm probably not going to get a chance to eat breakfast and i'm going to be really hungry i'm like trying to work this all out in my head i feel like mum maths is such a thing i'm like right okay she's got 20 minutes left for her nap what do i do do i do this should i do that so yeah, and then I don't get anything done because I've thought so much about what I should do and then not done it. So yes. <laughs> um, but Goldie is going through this thing at the minute where Goldie is a very, 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 very clingy baby. <laughs> Which I got absolutely like, I'm not surprised about. Like I don't live near family. So she generally has only been looked after by me or Sam. Like obviously I go to baby groups and, you know, meet up with people for like coffees here and there and stuff like that. But nobody actually looks after her, like in the sense that nobody holds her or feeds her or puts her down to bed and like things like that. So all of those like 
things have just really been me or Sam. Like my mum does come up every now and then when she can and she will sort of do it then. But generally it's just me and Sam. And I think because of that, Goldie is just really, really clingy to me. Um, and she just really does not like being held by anyone. She doesn't like anyone doing her bottle or like anything like that. So, and now it's got to a point where she will literally cry if I take one step out of the room like even if Sam's with her or even if like she's in her little play area and I just pop into the utility room which is right next door but like she can't see me for a second um then she'll cry um so I'm finding that quite difficult at the minute because it really means that I cannot be like more than a couple meters away from her um and yeah I'm just finding that quite like hard to kind of work around because i'm quite like beforehand before this she would quite happily like sit in her high chair and play whilst i'll be like overdoing the bottles and stuff but now if she can't see me she loses it so she really is very much like stuck to my hip at the minute which i'm not complaining about at all like i totally understand that like the reason that she's like it um but it just does make especially when you're on your own it does make doing things quite difficult anyway i chatted and now i'm running out of time so i think what i'm gonna do is pack her baby bag and then at least i know that's done because that's like the most important thing and then I know that's done, um, and then if I get a chance, I'll make some breakfast. This is Goldie's baby bag. It's the Tiba and Marl, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's the Phoenix bag or something, and I love it. Like, you can literally fit so much stuff in here. I used to be really good at repacking her baby bag, like, every night, but then I just got really bad at it, basically. Um, right, so in here, I like to put things in little um, pouches. In here, I have just a few nappies. I need to put some wipes in there. Okay, we've got wipes, nappies, nappy bags, things like that. And then in here, I have a little change of clothes, but actually she's grown out of these clothes now. So I'm just gonna go and change them quick. I'm actually just gonna pop one of these baby grows in from Zara. Yeah, she's now in six to nine months, which is just crazy. I just feel like that's so big. Um, but yeah, pop that in there just in case we have any accidents or anything like that. Um, and then I've got her changing mat. Oh, I think she's waking up. Um, I've got a changing mat. I've got a couple toys. This is like a little PlayStation controller. Um, this toy, I don't know what it is, right? My cousin gave it to me um when goldie was born she loves it she literally loves it and it's just like a little leopard absolutely adores it um i've got some of those little eggs she enjoys the eggs um a little fake remote control um and then we're also gonna put a little matchstick monkey in there and then this as well it's from amazon it's like a high chair toy again absolutely loves it it's so funny um so yeah i'll stick that in there as well and then I need to do her meal. I need to put a bib in. Is that bib clean? Yeah, that bib is clean. Great. Um, then I need to do her milk. So what I do for her milk is she's, I'm currently weaning her at the minute. So like we're kind of, we've started food and it's going so well. Like she absolutely loves her food, which I'm so happy about. Um, so yeah, I am weaning her, but I'm currently in the stage where I'm like, thinking she probably should drop a bottle um because she's not really that interested in her milk but then i'm conscious i don't really want to drop too much of her bottle um but then she's eating quite a lot of food so she's too full to have her bottle so then i'm like should i reduce the food i don't know i'm kind of in that stage at the moment but um right okay um oh my god don't tell me i'm out of milk no i must have more milk surely Oh no, I do. Oh my god, the panic then. <laughs> okay, so um, this is how I make her bottles up. I literally just do the right amount of scoops into her bottle, and then I bring with me this. This is the newbie rapid cool, and then this is the hot water hot water flask. So actually, to be honest, I'm just thinking. I don't actually think I need the hot water flask. I'll just. I just asked the cafe that we go to because we're going to obviously try and get some lunch. I just asked them for some hot water actually. So yeah, I'm going to do that I think. Um, let me just fill this up. Sorry, I feel like it's probably quite a bad time to vlog because I'm literally 
running around like no man's business. Um, but yeah, we'll fill this up. So the Nubia Rapid Cool is basically really, really good at, um, sorry, excuse the mess by the way, um, for making bottles out and about, or even at home to be fair, if you haven't got a prep machine, because um, it cools your bottle to the perfect drinkable temperature. This little magic thing here does. So yeah, I'd really recommend that parents get one because it's just such an amazing, amazing thing. And it just makes making bottles so much easier. So yeah, definitely would recommend. And then I think, I think I'm going to take out a little bit of lunch with me as well. I think I'm just gonna take a pouch with me. I have been generally making like a lot of her food, but for when we're going out and about, pouches are just so much easier. Right, I need to concentrate here because if I don't concentrate, <laughs> then, um, so yeah, if I don't concentrate when I'm cutting out these scoops, then I'll forget what number I'm on. So just bear with me a second. So we have her milk in there. And then now I'm gonna bring some weaning bits with me. What do I have? Oh no, I, didn't, I haven't got a bag. Oh no, that's my. I was hoping for like one of those little zippy bags. Oh, actually, I do. Got a little zippy bag here. That'll do. Um, so let's put this. So I'm just going to pack her a bib, which will go and roll up into this bag here. And then I'll get her a little pouch. Sorry, I don't know this is really boring. Okay, so I'm going to bring two pouches with me and just decide which one to give her when we get there. And then I'm going to bring these spoons, which are so good. They just like attach onto the pouches. So yeah, they're really good for that. So that's the spoons, water. I need to pack her water bottle. No, all good. Okay, that's her little water bottle. Honestly, so much to think about. It's outrageous. Okay, okay got that, got bib, got pouch. I mean, the only thing that's worrying me is she hasn't tried that pouch before. But I think she'll like it, I'm sure she will. Okay, right, that's the bag packed, I think. Is that everything? Yeah, I think it is. So now I'm gonna go and put the pram in the car and then I'm gonna hopefully make myself some breakfast and then I need to leave. <laughs> I've literally just realized I need to make up a bottle because she'll be due a bottle when I get back and there's no bottles made up, so I need to do that. I also need to fill up the milk machine. Oh god, it feels like my brain. This is my brain constantly, just going a million miles an hour. Um, so yeah, let's put these bottles in the steriliser to sterilise for later. So I'll be glad that I did that. Honestly, I take my hat off a million times over single parents like it's it's like the mental load of like everything it's just really hard when you're doing it on your own so I literally oh my god so much respect for single parents I think you are superhuman like amazing um right okay that's done need to pack the white noise machine for her nap um in the pram so just for some reality I have not tied up from breakfast, haven't tidied up any of her toys either. And grab that bottle. Okay, it is 10.30, I need to get her up, get her changed and then leave. I'm not gonna have time for breakfast, so I'm just gonna grab myself a little like oat bar or whatever. Um, probably not gonna vlog, I, I don't think I'm gonna take the camera with me. 
just because I'm going to the baby class, so I can't film there. And then I'm just going to go for a walk. Um, and yeah, not really too much to see. Um, <laughs> you're right, darling. Um, that's just Raffi. Yeah, keeping me company, aren't you? Not going to be too much to see anyway. And then I'll just chat to you guys probably when I'm back. But I'm, if I get a chance, I'm going to show you what outfit I put Goldie in. Can't even tell you how desperately I need to do a wash. I am down to my last pair of socks. So hopefully I'll find some time to fit that in later. Hello, darling. Hello my loves, back in the same position, looking a little bit less <coughs> fresh and a little bit more bedraggled, also got a change of clothes on. Um, I have been out, I went to the like little playgroup thing, I was 10 minutes late and it was only a half an hour class so I was only there for 20 minutes. Then we went out for a walk and now I'm home, I've been home for a couple of hours and I've just been playing with Goldie and I've literally just popped her down for her nap now. So I've probably got about an hour and I'm thinking, well, we hope. And I'm thinking, what shall I do? Shall I sit on the sofa and just chill out, which is what I really want to do? Or do I do all the tidying, get everything sorted so that I can chill out later? Do you know what I mean? I think I'm going to choose that option because I know it's going to get to like seven o'clock after I've done like bath and bed and everything like that by myself and I'm just going to be so knackered that I'm going to just want to literally collapse on the sofa but then I'll be really annoyed at myself because I won't have done anything that I need to do so that's my plan I'm just going to get tidying organized I need to have like a hoover and stuff so yeah I think that's my plan while she's asleep and I do feel like I'm very productive during her nap time because I'm like I know that she's gonna wake soon, so I need to just like get on and like get doing it basically. So yeah, that's the plan. I also haven't got anything in for my dinner and I know that if I don't get anything in, then I'll just order a takeaway and I don't wanna do that because I'm trying to be healthy. So when she wakes up, she's actually still awake. Just chatting to herself. I literally just put some cream in her on her scalp because she's got like cradle cap and it's like spiked her hair up. She's got like a little mohican can bless her. What was I saying? Yeah, I need to go get some dinner. So I think when she wakes up, I'm gonna just pop her straight in the carrier and go and get some dinner for me. And I'm gonna come home, do her dinner and then do her bath and everything like that.
Guys, please look how cute this little chair is. Oh my God, I just love it. It says Goldie on it. And it's like this gorgeous little like teddy bear kind of fabric. Raph's coming over to have a little look. But oh my God, it's so sweet. I'll try and show you her sat in it later. <laughs> Definitely not for you, Raph. I don't think you're gonna fit in there. <laughs> nope, you're not gonna fit. You're not gonna fit, darling. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so I've done a little tidy up. And I really quickly wanted to show you. So I am planning one of my friends' Hindus in Paris. We're literally going in like two weeks. And I'm so excited, but I wanted to show you some of the bits and bobs that I have for the hen. So let me just get it all now. So my friend Hannah owns this company called The Added Extras, and she also owns the um, company HA Design. So she does like pajamas and like all of that really nice like bridal stuff with HA Design. So then her other company, The Added Extras, basically does like all of it does like basically all like occasion stuff that you'd need, like personalized, bespoke, party bits and bob, decor, that kind of thing basically. So literally they can pretty much do anything you want. They also work with like corporate companies and small businesses and stuff like that to produce things for like their events and various other things. But yeah, they do things for like Hindus, birthday parties, everything like that. So as I said, it's in Paris. The theme is very much such like black and white, but obviously the bride in white um, and the rest of us will be wearing black. So yeah, that's kind of the theme. It's quite kind of chic, classy kind of style. So basically one of the things that we're doing are these little like party boxes for the Eurostar. And then inside them, we're just doing like little cute bits and bobs for everyone. Like we're gonna put like the itinerary inside and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I literally just sent over my brief and they designed them. So hang on, let me build this one so you can actually see what it looks like. Hang on. So they look like this. And as you can see, they're all personalized. So they have a little picture and then they have like Beth's Bachelorette, obviously the Eiffel Tower. And then you can obviously fill them up with whatever it is that you have. She also does loads of other really cool stuff as well. Like, hang on, like we have some little straws with the bride's face on. So like all these fun little personalized touches, which I think just makes such a nice touch to a Hindu. And um, so yeah, straws with her face on there. And then we've also got the same kind of Polaroid style prints of everyone there. So we can like dot them around the little, um, room that we're staying in. There's loads of really nice bits. So I really recommend checking them out if you are planning a hen do, um, or anything really, like a birthday party or any kind of event because it's so nice to kind of like personalize it. And yeah, they're just really amazing there and they will literally bring any idea to life. We also have got her a really gorgeous veil. So that is the veil there and it's personalized, which is Stunning. And it's got a really lovely little bow detail at the top there. I actually had this for my hen. So we also have these headbands as well for the hen. And then we've got these little personalized hangers for them. So we're gonna give these to everybody as like a little a little gift. And it says Beth's Bachelorette there, which is so cute. We're gonna look so cute in Paris wearing them. So yeah, I just wanted to share that for anyone that is planning like a birthday or a Hindu or like any other event or occasion. They're a really good company to get in touch with. They will literally bring any idea to life. Like you can go on the website and see there's loads of different kind of inspo, but any idea you have, they'll do it. And it's really, really easy and straightforward and it comes really quick as well. So even if you have like a last minute event, it's definitely worth checking them out. Sorry, this hoodie is like really puffy. We also have like some little bunting as well there. So I'm gonna take pics of it all obviously when I'm away and I'll put it all on my Insta and stuff. So if you are looking for like any more inspo, head on over there. So it wouldn't be a hen do without some personalized pajamas for everyone. So these are from HA Designs. They are this amazing, really thick, heavyweight satin. So yeah, so nice. And obviously we have them all personalized and they're gonna just look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm so excited for all of this. Oh, it's literally been so fun planning this. So yeah, as I said, I will be posting loads of pictures all over on my Insta. So I decided to sit down with a cup of tea and just chill for a little bit until she wakes up next. I'm also gonna quickly do some emails because there's loads I haven't replied to. Just heading out to go and grab 
some dinner for tonight. I've got Goldie in the carrier. So yeah, I'm gonna go out there now and then I'm gonna come back and make her dinner. Splish splash, we were having a bath. <gasps> splish splash. Splish splash. On about a Saturday night. just about to get out some stuff for her tomorrow so i'm just getting out these little spinach omelets that i made and then froze and then i've also just got out like a chicken no it's not chicken it's like a veg spinach and veg little pasta pot that i froze um i just like batch cooked and then froze it so i've got that out as well so she can have that for dinner tomorrow night and then i am going to make myself some sorry you can't even see me i'm gonna make myself some lunch uh lunch and <laughs> dinner i'm making myself just prawn stir fry just nice and easy and quick but oh my god i am so grateful that i did the tidying up earlier because i am tired and i just want to sit down and relax and yeah, very, very grateful to past me for doing that. I do normally do Hello Fresh for dinner, but because it's Friday, we have used them all up this week. I have this Wagamama's teriyaki sauce as well, which is so nice. I've also fed Raf, so yeah, once I've done this and done the bottles, I can just relax for the evening. And that is my dinner tonight so quick and easy and really minimal washing up which is just ideal guys it is saturday it has been one of those mornings i didn't sleep very well last night i always slept fine but i just kept waking up like all the time like literally like every hour so yeah didn't sleep very well and uh sam's still away and i just feel like it's just been yeah it's just been one of those mornings like I took Goldie and Raffi out to the park this morning and, um, sorry, I'm just getting my fork. Took Goldie and Raffi out to the park this morning, which when you, you'll know if you're a mum, if you have a baby and a big dog, trying to like take them out for a walk together is so hard. Like it's a really big deal. Anyway, I literally just took Raffi to the park this morning. It's literally like a big park. There's loads of dogs off the lead there. Raffi is so well behaved. Like he literally just pretty much walks by my side. And Raph was off the lead. And he was literally like a few meters in front of me. And this old woman started having a go at me. Like, you should have your dog on a lead. And I was like, what? <laughs> there were so many dogs not on leads. There's, that park doesn't have any signs up about not having dogs on leads. Like, he didn't go anywhere near her. Like, I was so confused. Anyway, and she just started having a go at me for not having Raffi on lead. And, you know, it's just literally just been one of those mornings. And, oh, yeah, just been a lot. The house feels like such a mess. It just feels like I'm drowning in washing. I have no clean clothes. <laughs> so it's been a lot. And so I decided to do, I've literally just put Golly down to bed and I decided to do the one thing that makes me happy. And that is cook up a big bowl of pasta and put a prawn linguine because I had prawns left over from my stir fry last night. And I just thought that it's going to really cheer me up. So yeah, I'm going to sit and eat this, um, and I don't know how much more vlogging I'm going to do today, to be honest. I really need to wash my hair urgently, and I feel like I can't stare at this, like, greasy hair any longer um, in the camera. So I might vlog a little bit later on, maybe when Goldie's gone to bed. But yeah, I probably will just catch you guys tomorrow. But I just wanted to check in. Just, you know, keeping it real and <laughs> saying that, like, today has been a struggle. I've, like, not, like, Goldie has been an angel. Like, she's so great and i just adore her so much but i think just i think just being on your period just puts you in like such a crappy mood and then um just like everything kind of got on top of me a little bit so yeah i'm gonna go and eat this and just decompress <laughs> guys we survived it we survived it's saturday night goldie is in bed and 
Got the oven on. I'm about to put a cottage pie in the oven. And then, once I've done the dishwasher, I'm just gonna chill. And I'm so looking forward to it. I actually think I'm gonna go upstairs and have a big, long shower. Um, Cause I had a spray tan last week for an event and it's at that point now where it's all like coming off and my skin just looks like tiger bread. So I feel like I need to go and give myself a real good scrub and just like get it all off. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't really update you much today. As I said, it was just one of those days. Um, but yeah, it's all good. We made it to the end of the day and tomorrow's a new day. But I will probably pick up the camera over the next couple of days um, and chat to you guys then when I'm not looking like I've actually been dragged through a hedge backwards. And I know people are gonna say like, we don't mind when you look like this, but when you have to edit yourself back and you're just staring at your face for a long time, yes, yeah, not ideal. So anyway. I'm going to love you and leave you and chat to you probably tomorrow. I did manage to get through a load of washing today though, so that is a plus. <laughs> Rafi's got a squeaky champagne bottle. You got that Saturday night feeling, Raf? Yeah? <laughs> We are doing, hello guys, I literally can't even <laughs> come down to say hello because oh my god my skin has just broken out like mad and yeah I just don't feel great but we are doing a little roast today and I'm doing my roast potatoes in the air fryer. Sam's sister actually did this for us and I could not get over how good they were so I texted her and asked her for the recipe um, and I thought I may as well share with you guys. So I've literally just peeled them and chopped them up into kind of like about that size, I'd say, um, or maybe even a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna warm up the oil in the air fryer. And it's so simple. Um, you pretty much just pop them in the air fryer and honestly, they just make the crispiest, most delicious roast potatoes. And I am someone who, is quite obsessed with roast potatoes like they're one of my favorite foods so if i can find a way to like perfect them then i'm all over it also whilst i'm here i'm just going to steam some potatoes for golden just do like a little bit of batch cooking so i've got all of our potatoes just in some water there um just before i parboil them and then yeah i'm just going to pop these on the steamer for goldie and then she can have some mash and like spinach tonight or maybe a bit of salmon um, and then i'll just freeze whatever's left over. This is the steamer that I use for doing Goldie's weaning. It does have two levels as well, so you can steam. Sorry, why is that lid not going on properly? You can steam like two things at once and then it has the blender as well. So it's just really easy, everything's in one. So I've just popped the potatoes onto parboil, probably leave them about 10, 15 minutes maybe. Um, I kind of judge it by how soft they are when I stick a fork in. So then I'm going to pop the oil in there um, just for a minute or so just to warm up before I put it in. I'll probably need two trays to be honest. Um, this is the Ninja Air Fryer. Um, so yeah, I'll put the oil in there, pop them in on... Oh, I can't remember if I do air fry or roast. I'm not sure, I'll check. For about 25-30 minutes and I'll turn them like halfway. And then at the very end just pop them on max crisp for a couple, like, couple minutes just to really crisp them up at the end. Okay, so I've just got the lamb ready. I've just popped some rosemary and some garlic in there. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven now. This is why you never send Sam to the shops if you've forgotten something. Because he always brings back things like this and I'm trying to be healthy but I just can't resist. Like who can resist mini eggs? They're so bloody good. Just finished parboiling them. I'm just gonna pop a couple of tablespoons of corn flour in as well, just because I feel like that helps really crisp them up. And then of course, you've got to shake them. They're not the fluffiest. Sam is a lot better than me at doing that, but he's currently in the ice bath, so yeah, they'll do. And then you just pop your potatoes in the hot oil and just give them a little turn coat them. Just popped some spinach in the steamer for Goldie. By the way, I took my ring off when I was working out earlier and I haven't put it back on. Just a little tip to keep spinach lasting longer because I feel like, 
this finish just does not last at all. Pop some kitchen roll in the bag, seal the bag up, and then the kitchen roll absorbs all the moisture so it stays like fresher for longer. You can do that with like anything like that, like salad, um, herbs, anything that's in like kind of a plastic bag. So yeah, I'm sure there's probably a better tip. Like you could probably take it out and put it in like a container maybe, but for ease, this works. So while I'm here, this app is really, really good for um, baby led weaning. It's called Solid Start. And basically it has just like all these foods and you can click on them and see how to serve them like to your baby and like when they can eat them and stuff like that. So like, for example, tomatoes, you click how to serve and it tells you like the best way to give them to them um, and all like little tips and advice and things like that and it has like um, stuff about like allergens and yeah it's really good. I'm just going to type in lamb because I'm doing a lamb roast and I was hoping to maybe give Goldie some lamb, obviously well cooked, so I'm just going to see, see what they say about it. Bone in lamb chop as a meatball in strips. Okay, I might give her a little strip of lamb and see how that goes. Just popping some roasted brussels in the oven. You can hear Sam singing to Goldie. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so these are my roasties. I feel like I should have parboiled them and then shaken them more because they're kind of looking a bit more like new roasted new potatoes than like roast potatoes. But I mean, they still look pretty amazing and like so fluffy inside. So yeah, I think I should have parboiled a little bit longer and then shaken them more before I put them in and possibly a little bit less oil, but yeah. The first time I tried them, it turned out a little bit better, but these also look really, really good. So, very, very crispy. <laughs> that is my roast dinner. How good does that look then? Oh, delicious, massive portion, because I know you want some too, don't you? I know, we're getting you some. Yeah. Um, this is all we're gonna have for food today, so yeah. Hi everybody, it's Monday morning. And um, Sam has actually been given a couple of days off because it's the international break. So yeah, he's got a couple of days off, which is nice and definitely needed. We are actually going to go to the aquarium this morning just because it's not very nice weather and we don't really know what else to do. And I feel like Goldie will love the aquarium just because it's like full of like, you know, sensory vibes, like the lights and all the fish moving around and stuff like that it's very colorful so i mean i don't know we could get in there and she could absolutely hate it because she's not really something not quite right about her i don't know if it's her teeth or what it is but normally she's a really really happy baby but yeah yesterday and then this morning she's just not been too happy but she's just having a really good long nap now so i'm really hoping she's gonna wake up but she slept fine last night but i'm hoping she's gonna wake up from her nap and just feel a bit better. So yeah, I think we're gonna go see aquarium and the aquarium is actually at the Trafford Centre. Um, it's like the Sea Life Centre. So it's at the Trafford Centre. So we thought we'll go see aquarium, go around there for a bit with her, give her a little bit of lunch and then get her to have a little sleep in her pram hopefully while we have a kind of mooch around the shops really. So yeah, that's our kind of plan really because what else do you do on a kind of rainy day. Actually, I say rainy, it's not rainy, it's just like gray and dull. And when we get home, I do really wanna get on top of the house. It just feels like I can't get on top of it at the minute. It feels like I'm constantly like washing and doing like cleaning and this, that and the other. And I just literally cannot get on top of it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. The washing machine really needs cleaning. And it's literally a job that I've been putting off for so long now but it's disgusting and i'm like i can't wash our clothes in this like dirty washing machine so i really want to try and get that done I'm, i was meant to do it yesterday but i was just never got around to it so hopefully i can do that tonight hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. so i've actually decided my mother's day flowers are definitely on their way out but i've decided that i want to try and press them um, just to keep because it's obviously my first Mother's Day. Um, so yeah, I've just taken four off there. The other ones are all very much dead. These are the ones that have lasted. But I really like them. So I'm going to try and press them and see how we get on. Oh. 
I just thought I probably should have put like a little bit of like baking paper or something in between them so they don't stick. But I don't have any. I looked online and apparently you can use kitchen roll. So we'll give that a go. I'm going to press the Mother's Day flowers you got me. Nice. There's your crumpets. Ta. Guys, can you even cope with how cute Goldie's outfit is today? It's from all from Zara. This little bodysuit and then matching cardi and little knitted pants. And the tights are next. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. Yeah, you look gorgeous. Yeah, you do. She's got a little bow in as well, of course. So we have to tame the hair because it just sticks up otherwise. And there's turtles. You see the turtles at the back? and you're going on a hen this blazer skirt situation is so cute love the feathers and this dress is stunning as well actually gorgeous oh my god also this i feel like this would be such a nice bridal look it's like a little bow top and then it's got a little drop waist skirt stunning love the shoes too so nice just in the zara changing rooms Trying on a few bits, and I thought this was gonna look cute in my head, but now I'm here, I'm not really sure. I don't know, I feel like it could kind of work. I quite like it. Just this little cardigan, um, and then it's like leopard print maxi skirt. It's really soft and comfy. I actually quite like I'm trying this light. Let me show you properly. If you are like five, six and under, these trousers from Zara are literally the perfect length. I'm five, five. Um, obviously with a pair of shoes on, like they'll be fine. I feel like Zara trousers, you always have to adjust. I actually have these in a couple of colors because I just love the fit. I love the waistband. I'm wearing them in a medium, so like you can't really see very well, but they're really nice. So yeah, happy days. It is so nice to actually be able to like try stuff on. Um, because obviously Sam has Goldie, so I know that I can like take my time and I'm not really stressed out and rushing, so yeah, I'm very happy. Guys, don't sleep on Abercrombie denim, it is so bloody good. I really like these, but I haven't got my size. Might have a look online though. I think they got 15% off this weekend. Oh, actually, it's Monday, so it's probably ended. <laughs> oh god, her ball patch looks so bad from here, Sam. <laughs> Just in this um, shop in Travis Centre called Navi, which is basically like skincare in clothes. Apparently, it's like hydrating, it's got like hyaluronic acid in it. Look, can you see that? Marine collagen peptide, squalene. I mean, it's kind of crazy. So, I thought I would uh, try some bits on. So, I've got a couple tops and then some underwear as well. The top is so comfy, but it's quite see through. See anything. The black cotton's better because it's not a see through. Um, it's really nice. I really like it. I think it's really flattering. It's so soft. I'm just going to try the leggings now. We've had quite a successful shopping trip. Well, I have. Got some bits here as well. Actually, Sam bought some Lego. <laughs> That's all he got. <laughs> yeah, I left Sam unsupervised in the Selfridges Lego department literally for two minutes. I walked over and he was buying Lego, so that's great. Okay, so we are home and Sam is just bathing Goldie. Hello. And I thought I'd show you what I got today because it was very successful. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I went to the traffic centre and actually bought anything. I feel like I always go and just mooch around and just don't like anything. I don't know whether it's because Sam was with me and like, I don't know. <laughs> just managed to find quite a few things um or maybe it's just like where we are in the season like obviously new stuff's coming in and yeah i don't know um right okay so first up i just bought a couple little bits for goldie in mummies and puppers first up i got this book which says read to your baby every day i'm really trying so hard to like read to goldie all the time um 
and she's actually a really like vocal baby like she's always going like ba 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 and like chatting and she's actually already said mama as well not that she actually probably knows what that means but she has said it quite a few times even like to the point where sam was like ah oh, you're just saying she says it but then i was in a baby group and she said it and one of the moms was like did i just say mama i was like yes yes you heard it it's not just me um but anyway so i got this book and it's basically just a book of nursery rhymes and i feel like me and sam are always singing nursery rhymes to her but not the right ones like not the right words do you know what i mean like we're just adding random sentences and stuff whereas these are like the actual correct nursery rhymes so i thought this would be a nice one to read to her my mum will love reading that to her as well so i got that and then i got her this we are going on holiday in um we're going away in may uh, on a family trip and then we're going away in june um for our friend's wedding um so yeah super excited but I just thought this would be really handy um, for her on holiday. It's like this really cute little ditzy floral print and it's like a short romper. I got this in nine to 12 months. Goldie's seven months at the minute and she's in six to nine months. I think mum's and papa's stuff comes up really small though. So um, that's why I went for the nine to 12. But yeah, I thought it was cute. And I also thought she could definitely wear it um, as we go like into sort of the autumn months with a long sleeve vest underneath and then some tights. So that is the beauty of like little girl things like this. You can just whack a pair of tights underneath and they go into the next season really well. And then for our holiday, I got her a little swimsuit with lemons on. I mean, honestly, anything fruit printed, I cannot resist. So yeah, she's got lemons on, uh, lemons on, <laughs> lemons on. And it came with a little matching hat. h &M. So I actually got a few bits in here. I'm not gonna try on um but i haven't actually tried these on so i don't know if they're gonna fit okay but we'll see these are just some wide leg high-waisted jeans um not really sure why i bought these to be honest they said comfort stretch and that kind of sold it to me to be honest and they were only 24.99 i'm normally a big 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 abercrombie jeans kind of gal but um i just thought i'd try these out because they were really affordable um, and i liked the wash on them I did like those Abercrombie jeans I showed you though, so I might have a look at them online. I got some tights. These are the tummy shaping regular waist tights. I thought they'd be quite interesting to try. It's kind of like shapewear in tights and then just some normal like sheerish ones as well um, because I'm going on a hen do in Paris and I, the outfit I'm wearing for one of the nights I quite like to pair, wear a pair of like sheer tights with, so I've got those. We have Goldie socks that she didn't keep on. <laughs> and then lastly from H&M, I got these oh, cream kind of wide leg crop jeans. Not really a style that I would normally go for, but something about the colour I think kind of drew me still. They're like a creamy colour with um, a beige kind of colour stitching, which I thought just makes like creamy white jeans look quite expensive. And as you can see, they are a wide leg, but they are a cropped wide leg. So I've absolutely no idea what I think I'm going to wear these with, like shoe wise. I'm thinking definitely more for like the summer with like a sandal of some kind, but I don't know. We'll see. I haven't got high hopes for how they look on, but you never know. In boots, we've got some nappies. These are the ones that Goldie wears. They're the Pampers Premium. Um, she's in a size three at the minute. I don't know why I just told you that. Also got some snacks for her got these apple rice cakes they're for age seven months which she will be tomorrow so yeah two of them and then um just some cotton wool pads and then also these snacks some blueberry wafer snacks i'm trying basically the only snacks i have are like the orangey carrot stick ones um and they just literally cover her clothes with orange dust but it's like cement so i'm trying to find some snacks that aren't quite as messy i got some nappy bags um paracetamol because sam's shoulder is hurting me he got some protein and then he got some deodorant <laughs> so that's what we got in food so i actually did do some shopping in that navi shop it was a cool concept like i'd love to look into it a little bit more um it just says yeah skincare meet skinwear no forget skincare wear skinwear so yeah people say it like it says after one wear 100 percent of skin feels quenched with hydration 
After four weeks, 91% skin feels firmer, springier, 91% lines appear visibly softer. I mean, I don't know, but it sounds pretty, pretty clever. So we will see if <laughs> that works. But even if it doesn't work, I mean, the stuff was just so soft and... Yeah, I mean, even if it doesn't work, the stuff was just so soft, it would be so nice to wear anyway. The only thing that was a little bit annoying was the white tops were very, very see-through. So I just went for some black ones. Um, so I just got a little um, short sleeve tee and then a long sleeve tee. I live in tops like this just with leggings and jeans and things like that anyway. And honestly, it is so soft. The long sleeve top was 52. So they are like a little bit more pricey, but still cheaper than like, Actually, is that about the same price as Skims? I think it might be the same price as Skims. And the short sleeve top was 48, but super soft, a lot thicker than Skims as well. I also got this Adenola tee because I love these for wearing to um, Pilates or just wearing around the house, like when I'm just staying in and looking after Goldie. These with like a hoodie, oversized hoodie and some leggings. They're just the dream. And then very lastly, probably the most exciting one, we have Zara. Guys, no. How cute are these? Okay, I don't know if the camera's gonna be doing them justice, but sorry. Like, are they not the cutest little heels you've ever seen? I actually didn't even try these on. I don't know why I didn't try them on. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, I feel like they don't really go with this outfit. <laughs> okay, I feel like they don't really go with this outfit, so I can't probably show you, but they're like li little leopard print mules. They're very, very like 90s vibes. I just thought that looked so nice with some wide leg jeans uh, or even like a little mini skirt. They're quite low heel, but I really like them and they were 29.99. So yeah, I just thought they were like quite fun. So I got that and then I got the skirt that I showed you in the clip. And I also got the cardigan because I figured I could wear this cardigan with like jeans and stuff too. So I thought it was quite um, a good all rounder. And then I also got the trousers that I showed you in the clip as well. And then I got this bag um, purely for um, Paris and going out because I don't really want to take like expensive bags with me, um, like any designer bags or anything like that. And I thought this one would be nice, just like a good, easy throw on bag. And I think I can get quite a lot in there as well because. I just feel like when you're going on a night out, like I want to be able to take like makeup, my phone, like I just always have lots of stuff and I just thought that was quite a good size. So yeah, I got that. And that I believe is everything. So a very, very, very successful shop, I hope. I haven't obviously tried everything on yet, but yeah, there were loads of things that I liked and I didn't go into like Stradivarius or Pull and Bear or um, any of those stores so there probably would have been more bits as well which is one of those days but anyway i need to go upstairs now because i need to um take some towel because he's asked me to go and grab him one for goldie and yeah i'm thinking about going to a pilates class tonight it's six o'clock now so i'm thinking maybe i could go to one at like 7 30 ish okay so we haven't gone to pilates because i decided that i finally need to tackle this situation if you can't tell, the bar that was hanging on my jumpers on has fallen off and therefore they have also all fallen off. Also, I have a mirror there because I do like my hair and stuff there. So um, yeah, that's why that's there. But I decided I really need to tackle the situation because basically the bar keeps falling off. So I think that is a surefire sign that I need to clear out some jumpers. The thing is, oh, hang on, my mum's ringing me. Sorry about that. Mum was just ringing me because I was a little bit worried about Goldie because she had a little bit of a rash. So I just sent a picture to my mum to see what she thought. Um, but we've checked her temp and stuff and it seems fine. Um, and obviously checked it with the glass and everything. And yeah, but anyway. So yeah, thing is, is I wear like all of these jumpers. Like it's pretty much all I wear all day, every day. It's just jumpers and leggings. So I do actually wear most of them. I think there might be a few in there that I don't wear anymore. So yeah. Operation clear out some jumpers. I'm not going to film me doing it because the amount of times I've filmed me doing clear outs is just outrageous. Um, and yet still there is more to clear out. So I'm just going to really quickly like whiz through it and then show you the finished product, hopefully. Sorry, I'm just halfway through this and I'm just thinking because basically I just like and wear pretty much most of the jumpers there. So I'm just thinking, would it actually be better to put them on shelves rather than hang? So obviously the great thing about the Pax wardrobe system is that you can kind of change it up. So I could like stack some shelves up instead, maybe? I don't know. I've also had all these thoughts about maybe 
getting rid of all of this and putting wardrobes along here as well um, because I don't really use my computer very much anymore. Uh, I just use my laptop now, so I don't really need a desk in here. I don't know. I just had thoughts about that. I don't know. What do we think? Should I put shelves up there? I feel like I'm just getting rid of stuff that I actually like. Okay, if I ever buy any more grey jumpers, you have permission to absolutely grill me in the comments. DM me, do whatever you need to do, because it is absolutely absurd, the amount of grey jumpers I have. In my defence, I literally probably wear one six out of seven days a week, <laughs> but still, it's stupid. Um, I have um, got rid of a few. I'm going to pop some bits up on Vinted. I've got like some Adnola stuff on Vinted. Um, my Vinted username is Ruby's Wardrobe, I think. I'll pop it in the description box. Um, but yeah, got some bits that I'll pop up in there, and then I've also just got some bits to pop to the charity shop and stuff. So yeah, and also... What I've done is I've hung the hanger the other way because this is actually Sam that said that. Because if before, where my hangers were the other way, the pressure was like pushing the rail that way. And as you can see, the rail like sits in that way. Am I making any sense? I hope I am. You get the gist. It's probably going to be really annoying when I try and get it out now though. Oh, actually no. It's not too bad. It's fine. So yeah, I might think about getting shelves when I decide what I'm going to do about this section here. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it because I don't really have time to be like doing things to the house at the minute with Goldie. But yeah, that's that's that. At least that's done. Hello, my loves. I'm sorry that I haven't come on and spoken in a couple of days, although you guys wouldn't know that it's been a couple of days, but it has. It's been like four or five days, actually maybe even a week. Basically, you know, I sort of spoke about um, the rash that I saw on Goldie, like in the last couple clips. Well, basically, I didn't know if it was actually maybe chicken pox. So um, I've just been staying in and not really doing anything for the last like four days. <laughs> so I'm taking my wrap up. Just wondering, like waiting to see if it developed into anything, um, because it kind of did look a little bit like chicken pox. But anyway, it literally has not developed at all. Like she hasn't got any more of the rash. Um, and it's just started to go down now as well. But yeah, that's kind of why I didn't really vlog because I just like literally wasn't really doing anything at all. So yeah, she's just having a nap. Sam has just taken Rafi out for a walk while he's just taking him now. Um, but I actually thought I'd come on and finish this vlog here because I think it's quite a long one. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was just a bit of a mishmash of everything and not really anything at the same time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.